Heidi Coles, a certified Pilates instructor based out of Southern California. And I am coming to you from the beautiful facility of Connect Pilates, an authorized training center for Balanced Body. Today, we're gonna do a short core sequence using <laughs> the sitting box light. So as you can see, it's really light, it's durable, and it has a lot of holes and different things you can use to play around with during your session. So we're gonna start today on all fours on top of the box. So we're here, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, we're in a nice long spine from the head to the tail, that neutral spine. And let's just set up our shoulders for success, yes? We're gonna allow that sternum to just lower towards the wrist, doing a couple of sternum drops here, feeling the shoulder blades draw towards your spine, and then exhale, slide those scapula apart. Doing that again, we squeeze on the inhale, and then exhale, just press the box away with those hands, feel those shoulder blades widen, Two more there, inhale and exhale, press. Last one, just like that. And we press, you're gonna hold right there. Now here's where it's gonna get challenging. I want you to take that right leg and you're gonna send it straight back behind you. Nice parallel position, hips are square. Now you have minimal support on that supporting shin. Yes, that bottom shin. So take note of that as we take the opposite arm and reach it straight out in front of us. Now we're lacking that balance and that support system. Hold right here. We're gonna take both the toe and that pinky down towards the floor and then bring it up, reaching through the fingers, through the heel. Again, down and we reach. Three more, just like that. Inhale down, exhale, reach. Last two here, inhale and exhale. Last one there, bringing it down, reaching it out. Hold right here, hold it. Now, changing our focus, we're gonna do some spinal mobility, rounding the spine, pulling the elbow to the knee, changing that focus, and then lengthen, reach it out. The struggle is real, lots of balance here. Again, exhale, round, pulling that knee up towards the elbow, and reaching it out, Woo! Oh my goodness, last two, we round, pull it in, and we reach. Last one, just like that, drawing it in, reach it out, and bring everything back. See why we set up the shoulders? Here we go, other side. We're gonna send that opposite leg back, pushing through that heel. Send that arm forward, hold it here. We're gonna both bring the pinky and the toe down to the floor, and we reach again, down, Reach it out. We have three more. And reach. Last two. And reach. Final one. Reach and hold. Adding that mobility. We're gonna round the spine. Pull the elbow into the knee. Pushing the box away with the knee and the hand. And reach. Three more. Exhale, we pull it in. Inhale, we lengthen. Final two, pull it in. And we lengthen, last one here, pull it in. Reach it out, bring it back down. The struggle is real, <laughs> let's move on. You're gonna have a seat on your box right at the back edge here from that position. You're gonna take your hands right underneath your thighs. We're gonna curl that pelvis under. I want you to draw your knees up with you to come down to the base of those shoulder blades. Hold right here. Take the hands on top of the knees. Think of that pressure down into the hand, uh, down into your hands, lifting, folding at the top of the rib cage. Hold right here. Double leg stretch. Inhale, reach. Let me see a picture. Exhale, circle it around. Uh, again, inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it around. We have three more. Make that picture. Exhale. Last two, inhale. Exhale here. One more, just like that. 
Bring it and hold it here. Going into single leg stretch. We're gonna grab that right knee, send that left leg nice and straight. And exhale, switch. And we switch. Nice strong legs, energy out through those toes. Here we go, we have four and three. Last two, hold it here on one, hold it. We're gonna add on. Take the hands, bring them behind the head. We're gonna do crisscross, but not your normal crisscross. Let's lift that left rib to that right thigh, hold. Now from there, we're gonna circle that upper body around, extending the spine beyond the box. We come up and around, we change legs to the opposite knee. So from here, as the legs are changing, you're swiveling the upper back around the back of the box. Again, sinking it around. Up and over. So thinking like a little half moon shape with the upper body, getting a nice little thoracic extension there, a little spinal release. One more set, just like that. Up and around. Last one here, circling it around. Very nice, bring the knees together. Give yourself one more inch lift. Grab under your thighs, rock yourself up onto your bottom and have a seat there. Good, take a moment here. And we're gonna turn the box around so that it's short ways. And then have a seat on the box. And we're gonna do a little bit of a tendon stretch here. But for me, it's not a full tendon stretch unless there's a little bit of a tricep dip action happening here. So from here, where we're going to be, I want you to slide your bottom just off the box so you're pressing down into your hands. Right here, as you do a tricep dip, you're going to draw one knee up to the chest, scoop that low belly, push it out. Do the other side. Opposite knee pulls up, tricep dip and bring it up. Now from here, here's your tendon stretch. Push into your feet, push into your hands, pull that low belly up and back, and then return back to your starting position. Let's repeat again, dip, knee comes up. And again, dip, knee comes up. And tendon stretch, push out of the hands, out of the feet, pull, and coming back to your neutral position, two more, just like that. We dip, we press, we dip, we press. Tendon stretch, pushing out, and we return. Last one, just like that, dip, we press. Last one here, finish strong, tendon stretch, pulling it up all the way. Coming back to your starting position, and then take a seat. Very nice. Take a moment there. And let's play around with the bottom portion of the box just to finish. So as you notice, there are several options for you, okay? We're gonna do a kneeling lunge. You have the option to use the box as an assist and just place your right foot forward in front of you. Or if you wanna take it a little higher, you have options here, taking it into a deeper stretch. I'm gonna use the highest point, because why not? And we're here, we're gonna hold this position. Now, from there, should you choose to do so, you're gonna tuck your toes under and lift into a full lunge. I want you to hold there for a moment. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Then take a moment there, we're gonna press it back into a nice hamstring stretch. Gliding that front hip crease back, holding it there for a moment. Then come back forward, hold that position. And just to transition, we're gonna send that front leg back, nice little plank. And then from there, let's mirror the other leg by taking it at the same height as we did on the first side, holding it right there, breathing it out. Holding, and then we're gonna press it back. Nice little hamstring stretch. Holding it there. Taking one more moment. Coming back forward. Finding that nice stretch. Good, very carefully, we're gonna lower that back knee down. Hold that for one more moment, just kind of reversing what we did on the other side. And then relax right there. 
Very nice. Well, there you have it. A short series using the sitting box light. Super easy to manipulate, super fun to work with. Thank you so much for joining me today and for watching this balanced body video.